Meetings and visits are one indicator of the growing closeness between our two nations, but this is equally visible in a range of domains starting from trade and investment and extending to health and food security, to education and science and technology, defense and maritime cooperation, etc. Our bilateral trade has crossed the US dollar 3 billion level last year, uh, and I'm confident that it will continue to grow. My message in the discussions which Secretary Manalo and I had today was that India, as the fifth largest economy currently, growing at about 7% annually, is preparing to step up its engagement with the Philippines. I welcome what Secretary Manalo communicated in terms of uh, easier visas, more movement, more dialogues, and deeper cooperation. Some of the recent developments in our ties were positively recognized at our meeting. We are moving ahead on quick impact projects in agriculture, health, and capacity building. Indian companies have been active here, as much in the digital infrastructure as in the physical one. There is considerable interest in Indian corporate sector in stepping that up. The growing comfort and trust between us is also reflected in the ongoing supplies of rice from India as an exceptional measure. As two seafaring nations of the Indo-Pacific, our maritime cooperation holds great potential. Last year, we signed agreements on enhanced maritime cooperation and white shipping. It is appropriate that even today, there is an Indian Coast Guard uh, vessel which is making a port call in Manila. Secretary Manalo and I have discussed our shared interests in ensuring maritime safety, given that our two countries contribute so much to the global shipping industry. I also briefed him about the Indian Navy's deployments in the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea uh, to counter ongoing threats. Uh, and he himself has spoken about uh, the rescue of MV True Confidence by one of our ships, INS Kolkata. And there have been some other instances, I think, uh, since then, MV Leela Norfolk as well, which involved you know, some uh, crew from the Philippines. Our partnership with the Philippines also has a larger context in terms of the engagement with the ASEAN. The Philippines will take over as India's country coordinator later this year. We look forward to its steering India-ASEAN cooperation, especially in regard to reviewing the trade agreement, to building connectivity, and to deepening people-to-people -people contacts. As a nation deeply invested in this region because of its Act East policy and Indo-Pacific vision, India follows all developments with great interest. We are strongly supportive of ASEAN's centrality, cohesion, and unity. We are also convinced that the progress and prosperity of this region is best served by staunch adherence to a rules-based order. UNCLOS 1982 is particularly important in that regard as the constitution of the seas. All parties must adhere to it in its entirety, both in letter and in spirit. I take this opportunity to firmly reiterate India's support to the Philippines for upholding its national sovereignty. As the world changes, it is essential that countries like India and the Philippines cooperate more closely to shape the emerging order. Today, we discussed a range of global and regional issues uh, from the UN and the NAM to the Indo-Pacific to Myanmar to Ukraine, and beyond that. Uh, we are also both societies that contribute significantly to the global workplace. We would like to see more resilient supply chains and trusted digital partnerships. Our activities serve to strengthen the cause of the global south in different domains. Our commitment to democratic values is deep and abiding. We are both nations who value the autonomy of decision making and favor a multipolar world with a multipolar Asia at its core. These convergences these convergences, based on an expanding bilateral partnership, today drive the upward trajectory of our ties. My discussions today with Secretary Manalo, the meeting later in the day with Defense Secretary Theodoro and others, and the call on President Marcos will all provide opportunities to do that. As we move towards the 75th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations, I'm confident that there is much more that awaits us. Thank As ministers of the Republic of India, my dear friends in the Media colleagues and government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I had an excellent conversation and discussion uh, with external affairs ministers Jay Shankar today. We both affirmed in no uncertain terms our mutual commitment to sustaining the positive momentum of our bilateral relationship. 
a partnership that has reached unprecedented levels in its scope and depth in recent years. I also took this opportunity to convey personally to Minister Jay Shankar the Philippine government's profound appreciation for the Indian Navy's immediate and effective response to the distress call of MV True Confidence, upholding a long-standing and fundamental maritime tradition and ultimately resulting in the safe return of 13 Filipino seafarers. Further noting both our country's significant contributions in merchant shipping, we also explored possible cooperation to ensure the safety of Indian and Filipino seafarers, such as those working on board merchant vessels plying the Red Sea. The Philippines and India are staunch advocates of safety at sea, freedom of navigation, and adherence to international law, including the 1982 UN Convention on Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, as well as the 2016 Arbitral Award on the South China Sea. This was evident during my visit in New Delhi in June last year, and it was evident again during our discussions today, especially on recent actions of China in the West Philippine Sea. Our countries have shared, a shared, our countries have a shared interest in a free, open, and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. The minister and I have decided to accelerate our maritime cooperation with a planned maritime dialogue with India to be held in Manila following the successful Track 2 dialogue in September last year, which confirmed several promising areas for collaboration, especially in marine domain awareness, uh, shipping and seafaring, search and rescue, law enforcement, and environmental protection. With regard to our defense and security cooperation, we see the defense industries of India continuing to play an important role in the AFP modernization program. Other priorities include education and training, as well as research and development in support of the self-reliant defense posture of the Philippines. Development cooperation, agriculture, food security, affordable health care and infrastructure cooperation remain high in our shared development agenda. We have also taken note of India's significant successes in science and technology, space and financial technology, particularly on financial inclusivity. We are keen to begin closer cooperation in these areas. On tourism, I convey to Minister Jay Shankar that the Philippines is prioritizing Indian travelers and uh, in its e-visa system project, which we hope to launch in India in the very near future. We also discussed various mechanisms to facilitate two-way trade, including progress in the negotiations of our bilateral preferential trade agreement, as well as the upgrading of the ASEAN India Trade and Goods Agreement. Last year, Philippine exports to India exceeded $1 billion US dollars for the first time. While this is undoubtedly uh, good progress, current data indicates that we still have over half a billion dollars of unrealized export potential to India. We also discuss our mutual engagements in other areas, including the non-aligned movement and the United Nations, as well as in other regional fora, and the importance of uh, continuing to cooperate in issues such as climate change and maritime concerns. Clearly, there is much work to be done given the immense potential of Philippine-Indian ties, particularly as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of our diplomatic relations and as the Philippines takes over as country coordinator for ASEAN-India relations uh, later this year. With the second visit of Minister Jay Shankar to the Philippines, we are sure that India will continue to be an important partner on the other side of the Indo-Pacific. And with this, again, I'd like to thank the External Affairs Minister for returning to our shores. Where